Here's the pipe cut list. It adds up to 10 feet. A hacksaw works well for cutting. Before we can glue the pipe together, we have to take care of the valve that gets the compressed air into the launcher. So drill a half inch hole in the end of an end cap. Regardless of whether you use a drill press or a hand drill, hold on to the end cap with a pair of pliers. Back up your drilling with a piece of scrap wood and hold on tight. Clean out the chips with a fingernail to ensure a good seal. Make sure the valve cap is on so when you grab it with the pliers it won't mar the threads. The plastic needs to seat in this groove so you need to pull it through really hard and maybe twist and turn it a bit to get it through. With the valve in, now you can glue. So it'll go like this. Another end cap to the 18 inch piece of pipe. The other end of the 18 inch piece to a T. The two inch piece into the middle of the T and the cap and valve onto the other end of the two inch piece. The T to the 30 inch piece takes us up to the threaded adapters. These allow us to unscrew the launcher for easy transport and storage. Then it's on to the 48 or 4 foot piece and there's nothing on the other end. I sand the surfaces both inside and outside that will glue together and it seems to work but be warned that you're supposed to use a primer before you use the glue. It seems I always have to use big pliers to get the pipe cement open, but then I close it really tight too so it doesn't dry out. Put the pipe cement both inside and outside and quickly push them together. Solvent cement is really nasty stuff and you should be doing this outside. I couldn't with darkness and rain, but I had a great cross breeze. The adapters get glued on too, but don't get glue on the threads. When you're done, it'll look something like this. Now's a good time to put the Teflon thread tape on. Five or six wraps keeps the connection from leaking, and if you can wrap it in the direction I'm showing, you can avoid having it peel off as you twist it in.